Hey guys, it's Huff. I am back again and today I am going to be filming my intro for the Team Project Pan 2020. I've decided to jump in on this. I have been watching um, Kat who is one half of uh, Beauty News on YouTube. I've been watching her personal channel for probably three or four years now um, and um, her and Hayley who is the other half kind of got into her after Beauty News started um, but yeah but they've been doing um, team project pan they did it uh, in 2019 They're doing it again in 2020 decided to jump on in they have a great um, Excel spreadsheet that you can download that gives all the different categories so basically what it is is a full face of makeup um, except eyeshadow probably because a lot of people do pan that palette and stuff like that um, yeah so I decided I was gonna jump in on this I don't have something in every category that they have and in some categories I've got two things because I use two products in those categories so yeah um, I'm also trying out using a microphone rather than the microphone on the camera uh, so we will see how that works I uh, have a little Yeti in front of me um, laptop over to the side trying to record it um, so hopefully I'll be able to get it to sync properly um, when I go to edit new year new challenges um, it's a little hot today I'm a little sweaty uh, most of the products that are in this project are currently on my face um, with a few things from another project which I'll be filming after this one and yes my hair is uh, neon green um, through to blue at the moment um, and for those of you who don't realize I have quite a severe undercut because I have a lot of hair um, this is like normal people hair and then I have all of that rest which I had cut super duper short this time so yeah uh, let's just get into this because there's quite a few products so starting from the bottom um, oh by the way there's a fan on over there as I said it's kind of hot I'm not turning it off <laughs> Um, hopefully the microphone will help reduce most of that noise um, yeah so the first thing is primer this is the Maybelline baby skin primer this is silicon primer um, supposed to be instant pore eraser um, I don't know exactly where it is because it's a clear product so you can't really see it but I did use this quite a bit last year just kind of want to get it finished so I'm thinking it's probably down about here but I can't really tell and I can't weigh anything because I don't have sensitive enough scales to do that uh, yeah so that's the primer uh, for foundation I tend to mix foundations these days um, and the main foundation I was using is almost gone like I think there's probably like three uses left in it so I'm not putting that one in I'm putting in the thing that I mix into it which is the NYX Total Control Drops um, it, it, it's uh, it's all shaken up so you can't really see but where that silver line is if my camera would focus where that silver line is is about where we are this was brand new at the start of last year so this should be finished by the end of this year maybe if I will make up a little more often next we have concealer and for my concealer I have put in my Maybelline Fit Me in 05 Ivory which according to how it currently looks in the package is about half about halfway ish um let's see if I've got have I got I don't know if this button will work so we are right there uh, almost halfway then we have powder now I have two powders because I use an HD powder over my concealer under my eyes and I use a different powder if I need to set the rest of my face so the uh, under eye one is the artist selection HD powder this comes from crown um, this was part of my beauty kit when I was doing my beauty training my makeup kit then um, I drew the line on the back of it before this one down here before I used it today <laughs> so 
and I had the fan on and powder was flying around so I probably lost a bit but that's it's not a huge amount but it will still take ages to use up and the other powder um, does not belong in this container but this is a container I have it in this is the physician's formula uh, mineralized finishing veil or something like that mineral finishing veil I've been trying to use this up for two years now this is how little I use these powder this particular powder um, but that that's where we are now these lines were like last year <laughs> so that's where we are now um, again I marked the line before I used it and I had a bit of an accident with it while I was using it and there was powder everywhere everywhere uh, next is setting spray um, we have the NYX Dewy Finish. Uh, I don't like the smell of the NYX finishing sprays. I prefer the smell of like the Australis one, which smells like rose water. Uh, this one smells disgusting, so I kind of want to get it out of my collection. Um, and I have a couple of other finishing sprays I want to try this year, so the sooner I get this one done. Uh, again, I can't really tell you where it is. It's probably about half full um, because it's black packaging. So uh, Then we have uh, bronzer and contour uh, i actually have two they had them as like one category but i'm doing both um for my contour this palette looks grotty um that right there is havana from australis it is what i use as my contour color when i use contour because it's the right color um so i'm using that and for bronzer, I have put in this clean color uh, tanned raw matte bronzer. This is in Fiji matte, which is their second darkest one. It's fine as long as I use it very, very carefully, like not too heavily. Um, so that is probably going to last years and years, um, quite frankly. Um, I used it today and I used Havana and um, Fiji matte as my transition colors on my eyes so that's actually what they are they work really well as eyeshadows i probably will use them quite a bit as eyeshadows rather than anything else uh blush for blush we have the Lacura uh duo this is in soft rose and rose i usually just go between the two um that's what i'm wearing today um, it's nice enough. It's also only half a pan, so um, hopefully it won't take too long to actually use it. But knowing my luck, it'll take ages. <laughs> uh, then we have highlighter. For highlighter, I have picked the Models Prefer Daylight Ombre Highlighter, um, which goes from like pink to champagne to almost purple um, so it gives a bit of option if you want to change how it which what end you go for I tend to just hit the middle quite honestly it's not a bad highlighter it's not the best highlighter I own but it's not a bad highlighter um, then we have eye primer um, so I have decided I'm going to use my a brand new Revol uh, revolution beauty eye primer it's um it looks like it's colored but when i um blend it out on my eyes it you can't actually see it so um i don't know how well it works it seems to be going okay at the moment considering i've been sweating um but yeah it's brand new <laughs> um liquid gel eyeliner i have decided to go with a gel eyeliner this year i am going to use gel eyeliner um, this is the Mellow Gel Eyeliner. This was brand new, hadn't been opened, hadn't been touched. So, yeah, this will last all year, pretty much. Um, it's just a black eyeliner. That's that's all it is. comes with a little tiny brush, um, which I actually used. And it went on pretty good today. So, yeah, not, not complaining at all. That was fine. Um, eye pencil. I have two eye pencils in. I have the... For some reason I've written down Maybelline, but this is Rimmel. This is the Rimmel in the nude. This is a nude eyeliner for, you know, the bottom waterline. Um, yeah, it, it has quite 
I actually broke the tip off of it using it today so it has quite a bit still in there knowing my luck it'll last me all year filming a video then the other pencil I picked out is this long con pencil that I've been trying to pan for like two years and never get anywhere um, it's just a black eyeliner um, quite black which is good so that's my eye pencils for mascara I have this real problem with throwing out mascaras after three months which is why I don't so most of the mascaras I used last year I literally was using them for most of the year um, so I have actually thrown them out it was really hard to do because they still work but you know eye safety is more important um, so it's a brand new mascara it's only been used twice um, that is the the bomb watch your type mascara this is John McLean's favorite mascara uh, so yeah I I decided I was gonna that's gonna be my first one for the year <sighs> yeah um, I don't think I actually don't think I've got any clump crushes left so um, I have to use it on my bottom lash line and hope that I don't get huge smearies which is what normally happens so for brows I have the OXX pencil OXX is a Kmart brand they don't have names of like the color this one is supposed to be the lightest eyebrow pencil unfortunately it is very warm like super duper warm um, so that is a bit of a problem <laughs> um, I may decide very quickly that I'm not going to use it as an eyebrow pencil anymore um, but yeah I am wearing it today but I do have um, my designer brands eyebrow extender on top of it which makes it a bit darker and I used up had a little bit of my cella eyebrow pencil left so I use a bit of that as well so it's not very accurate um, and for brow setting I have the Australis tint my brow in blonde um, which it looks like it's about half done this is a really squeezy little containery thing so it's a bit hard to tell where things are in it because it's all sort of stuck up the side but that's the brow setting um, then we go into the lipstick -y area so for lip liner I have put in the Inoxa uh, mocha rush which is basically just a you know a brownie brown nude neutral kind of tone uh, for uh, lipstick I did have in the infallible L'Oreal infallible um, lipstick in Lily but then when I opened it it smelled funny so I'm going to swap it out for one that's in another project because I'm doubling up with a couple of my project um, product and that is Vegas Vault from MAC which is a completely different color to Lily Lily is um, a neutral whereas Vegas Vault is orangey so that's going to be the lipstick that I put in the liquid lipstick that I have put in is tea and cookies from Maybelline uh, from NYX sorry um, this is just like you know one of the minis from the mini vault it's what I have on over the top of mocha rush right now so that is that uh, lip gloss I have the Maybelline lip gloss in wine or mine so if I want something a little darker and I want to darken it up I can use that one uh, lip balm I have the taste the rainbow lip balm from pretty sweet face which is blue um, I really like this it smells really good and then la the last thing I've put in um, they do have a category for fragrance and they had a category for body stuff and hair stuff don't really use hair stuff quite honestly um, I probably later in the year will put skincare in um, at the moment the skincare that I'm using is all like almost finished like 
a couple of weeks at the most kind of finished so I don't really want to put those in um, so I'm going to wait until I have new products to put in and then I'll put them in um, but I am going to they have a category for nail stuff but instead of nail stuff I'm going to put in hand cream I have a hand cream that's almost finished um, so I am putting in the Enchant by Le Cura. This is Lotus Flower and Pink Grapefruit. Pink Grapefruit is one of my favourite smells. Oh, and this smells lovely. Um, yeah, so that'll be my hand cream. Um, I like to use hand cream every day. So those are all of the items that I have in my Team Project Pan for Face of Makeup. Um, I will leave Kat and Haley linked down below so you can go and check them out. There's also a hashtag. You can either you look at the hashtag Team Project Pan 2020, which will take you to people who are just, it's just this year's version of it. If you just use Team Project Pan, you will get ones from last year as well. So you can go and find yourself some new Project Panners. Uh, yeah, so that is it for this video. If you want to subscribe, click the button down below. Click the little bell if you want to get notified if I want to upload new content. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I will answer any questions you ask me and I will like your comment. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.